Filming from Django 2017, I'm here with Ron at the booth for Cool Mini or Not. And Ron has agreed to tell us a little bit about Richard the Lionheart, a game that has not been released yet, but it's been demoed here at GenCon. Thank you, Ron. No um, this is Richard the Lionheart. Um, it's due out in November, I believe, of 2017. Um, it is a brief, in brief, it is a game about um, the Crusades and what happens in England while King Richard is away. Um, the two, it's a team-based game. There's two teams. There is the Prince John team as well as the Robin Hood team. It play, you play Katy Corner from each other if possible. Um, the overall goal of the game is to influence the way the influence the tide of the Crusades. Um, you do that by um, there's, three, there's three different methods. The first one's military. Um, Robin, of course, and his merry men are, are supporting King Richard and his armies. Um, Prince John is supporting Saladin, that, who would defeat Richard. Um, Robin Hood, the second tracks are the King's Return, and so if Robin Hood can get um, the Kings to come back sooner, they'll win. Also, um, Prince John's team is trying to deplete the resources of the King so that he'll run out of money and won't be able to make it back. Uh-huh. What happens is on each player's turn, um, you start off with a deck of these cards. These cards represent each side of, the, of this of this influence board. Um, each each player has a hand of them, and then you earn more during the course of the game. Um, a player would get to place on the board, and then um, you get to move. And after you move, you can choose the interactive space. So normally you move three. You have to follow the road, so you'd be one, two, and three. And then you can react with the space. In this, in this instance, you could change in those cards to get two prestige points as well as three coins. After every person is gone in the, in the turn, in, um, you go to the intern, every player, you have a base deck that's one of each of the influence spheres. And then each player who's playing the game will be, get to add two cards to the pool. And so if they want, they choose that they want to try to influence military, they'll add two military. To the, to the deck, so we'll add two military there. And then the next person say, well, I want to try to deplete the treasure, so they'll add two more to it. And then we'll go ahead and add two more, uh, just for sake, so we have a full deck. This deck would get shuffled. And then what happens is you reveal two cards for every player. So we'll say we're playing a four-player game, we reveal eight cards. compare the results. So we go to military first. The red would win. If they win, they advance their armies one. We go up in the army. Uh-huh. The um, we go to King Richard's return. The red gets it by two. So he'd actually since they win, he'll advance two spaces. These are always moving forward. You can only slow them down. You can't really move them back. So this is kind of dictates how fast the game's going. Uh huh. So um, the countdown clock. Yeah. Also, the green treasure one. So since they won, they'll be, it'll also move two. So it's three. So it's kind of a neck and neck race between both teams. So, if I'm if I understand correctly, you go around the board to get in advantages and actions from here, so you gain resources and then be able to manipulate that deck, which in turn manipulates what happens there. Yes. Is that the general Correct. idea? Yeah. And, and you know, your team, you know, if you're Robin Hood's Rain Man, you're trying to get to the red results. If you're Prince John's, you're trying to get to the green results. Mm -hmm. There's also a turn counter. So if this has to happen by end of turn ten, then, then you know, but it always happens. So it's. <laughs> Uh, th these usually go pretty quickly, uh, but there's also a, that's a secondary way in case something happens. The game bogs down. Um, there's also events that affect each turn that give you bonuses, um, and then there's also the characters' key abilities. You can get a horse, you can get a boat. Just a second, we're gonna let the announcement go. That's a long announcement too. Okay, we know that stuff. Let's try now. So, we were saying... Alright, um, the characters, um, you can um, purchase horses and ships for your characters, and so it gives them faster movement, allows them to move um, the um, riverways. So
so you can get to places faster. Um, the only other thing I really haven't touched on is there's prestige points here. Uh -huh. um, you can gain prestige throughout the game. It doesn't really matter, but whichever team wins, um, whoever has the most prestige on that team is the actual winner of the game. Oh, so you're so playing you're... for a team first and you want to be the best on your team. I see. Scrop it in that sense, but victory conditions are still yeah. individual. Yes. Okay, this is Richard Lionheart, not out yet, but if you want to try it, uh, head over to Django 2017. This is where you'll be able to give this one a, a try. Thank you, Ron. Oh, thank you.